Hey guys, we're back with the ESL Community Cup number three for heroes. Uh, with me is Ghoul. And Hello. we're in the picking process again. Uh, this time we have Mouse Sports, who's gonna be fighting Team Comet. And um, I think we already have the first picks going on. Let's check it out. Um, so I think. Um, yeah, it looks like um, they started out with. Um, Uther and Anubarak, and I think that's uh, Team Comet. Then we have oh no 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 oh no, uh, wait Uther that's Anub is Mouse yeah that's Mouse, and then we have Arthas and Tychus for um, Team Comet just like last game, and uh, Tassadar and Kerrigan for uh, for, for Mouse. Team Mouse Sports yeah. and Rega and Vala for Team Comet again. So it's gonna be the same. For Team Comet so far. Let's wait for the last pick. And last pick for Mouse Bots is gonna be Falstad. Hmm. Interesting. Why, why is that? <laughs> um, Falstad may, may be the, uh, well, let's say not, not the solid, most solid option here. Um, he isn't that tanky. But of course, he can do a lot of damage. Um, like, yeah. How do you feel about his mo like the mobility advantage with the flying ability? Uh, the the um, well, just the possibility to switch lanes so fast and possibly take merc camps that are currently uncontested. Um, it's a pretty good ability, especially on Cursed Hollow, where it it comes in very handy if you can just uh, fly to the tribute when you were on the lane all the time you can soak up a lot more experience and be everywhere at the same time basically I think it's a it's a strong pick but uh, you have to play it right they have to get good engages mm -hmm. um, they've got some good amount of stun with uh, Kerrigan, Uther and Anoop and a lot of CC as well with uh, Tassada so they should be just fine. Yeah, I actually like their their setup here. Um, what do you think uh, about lane compositions? How are they going to start this out? Okay. Um, if we take a look at um, the Magas team, it's like they have Arthas and uh, just a second uh, Tychus. Um, they might be uh, just being a roaming squad potentially and uh, as well as there's a possibility that you go Arthas and uh, Rega because mm -hmm. you have a lot of CC and a really good amount of slow and mm -hmm. you can get in a lot of damage as well so I think they'll be roaming and the other three just uh, each on one lane Okay. And uh, what about mouse sports? Well, uh, Anoop is a pretty good bruiser. Um, you can pair him up with Uther, I think. Uh, either Uther or uh, Kerrigan. Depends on how you want to play. But besides, besides of that, um, you have to be a little bit careful um, if you don't take uh, Kerrigan as a Roma, because she doesn't have that of a good uh, escape, mm -hmm. and she's kind of squishy as well, so you have to play her quite defensively if you play her on a solo lane. Okay, um, let's uh, take a look who picked who. Uh, I think it's going to be uh, Karayan who picked Uther, yep. Yeah. Fabio is going to take Anoop, uh, Kitty Kadash is Falstad. Cookie is playing Tassadar and Starzerg is playing um, Kerrigan. Playing Kerrigan. Yeah. And we have Whitera again as uh, Rhaegar. Arthas is playing Deadly Mouse. Vala is played by Happy Zerg. And Dimaga is going to play Tychus. And um, yeah, I forgot about the last one. Uh, the problem is I can't see the last one either. It's like a bug. You see on stream as well that there is this um, button yeah, where it says invite. Um, but it's no problem, we just have to wait until they start the game. Uh, I can't find it right now. Well, it's starting anyway, so yep. we're good. All good, let's get it started. Um, and the map is going to be Cursed Hollow. 
so quite different from last map. Um, I mean, they changed this map around a lot. It's it's not at all like it used to be when when I was still uh, like playing a lot of heroes. Um, but where do you think it stays? Right, where does it stand right now, um, as far as uh, balance balance goes? I think it's pretty good, the balanced, um, and the matches are quite in the range where you want to have them, mm -hmm. like not that far above 20 minutes because mm -hmm. yeah the the curse is just strong enough to give a team a good advantage uh, to push and as well as the grave golem camp you can uh, creep it and just get in a really good push and end the game fast all right let's get started here um we have team comet here as blue again on the left side um, Arthas is playing uh, Deadly Moss is playing Arthas, Happy Zerg is Vala, we have Montana playing Uther, and uh, White Drop playing Rhaegar, and Dimaga uh, is playing Tychus. And for Team Red, Team Mouse Sports, Kadash is Felstad, then we have uh, Star Zerg playing Kerrigan, Cookie is playing Tassadar, Fabio is playing Anubarak, and we have uh, Karayan as Uther uh, soloing here. Qu quite a weird setup here uh, for Team Mouse Sports. Yeah. Let's see how it plays out. I think they have to be a little bit cautious there, especially in the middle. I mean, uh, with the entire blue team all ganged up. Um, that's one of those issues that you know how to deal with. I mean, uh, you just gotta know, okay, there's the possibility um, of a team kill very early on. Yeah. And uh, looks like they're setting that up. If you don't go around as five people in the beginning, you just should better stay back and mm -hmm. don't be aggressive. Yeah, I think that's exactly what they're doing. Cookie's staying in the middle lane here. Uh, looks like we have a nice little uh, gank possibility oh, here. Wow. Oh, yeah, all ganking up on White Rock. Oh, and nice grasp here by Starzerk. They might actually get White Rock. Ooh. Ooh, nice body block there by Anubarak. Will they get the finishing blow, though? No, White oh, Rock gets God. away. Really well done. Man, he's just so fast in that wolf form. Yeah, but it was such a good positioning for them to just engage in him, but whoa, he was really lucky, and of course did a uh, good movement, so he got away. Yeah, but quite aggressive play here early on for Team Mouse Sports, especially since they saw that uh, five, uh, five people in the middle lane situation, so um, that's actually quite ballsy to just go down there and maybe just wait for, for getting that kill. And uh, looks like Uther is trying to get Wiper again. Nice stun there, but he will get away, of course. Yeah, again in the wolf form, he's just so fast. Felsat just um, pushing it out here in the top lane, trying to keep the minions back. Uh, looks like that's uh, doing really well for him. And yeah, he d he doesn't want to get the lane pushed. Al although he has the escape, he doesn't want to really have to use it. Yeah. And the bottom camp is being taken, easy camp is being taken here uh, by Anoop and Kerrigan. So we'll have a little bit of a push here uh, in bot. And yeah, I think Karayan can also just really uh, bolster that, uh, bolster that push a little bit, especially against, uh, against Rhaegar. Yeah, and now they have to defend the top push, but with three against uh, Uther, won't be that a big problem. Uh, Kerrigan is waiting here. Um, but I think she's just waiting for Uther to make a move. And um, I, th I think that's actually kind of a nice situation. Forces Uther to stay back at the keep. And uh, that allows them to deal with the minions just way, way better. Yeah. And now they're going to take the hard camp. Or may might think about it. Wow. Uh, They'll have a problem at the tribute, actually, if they yeah. take too long. I think this is actually a really, a really good position here for Team Mouse Sports. They kind of th divided the map. And the tribute is not going to be taken all too soon here um, by the blue team because they can't really get to it. And now we have it that um, Starzark is the first one to make it to the tribute. Uh, looks like Falset is going to be waiting in top. We have a noob waiting in bottom. And um, yeah, it looks like uh, Team Common is not going to contest that tribute. And yeah, that's a nice little victory early on here for Team Mouseboard. Yeah, but now that they have to defend the hard camp. Um it's not too ba bad to lose the first uh, tribute, but still, if you can avoid it, uh, why not just take it? Ooh, they're going for a deep dive here, nice body block by Anubarak, and they get Tychus, but Anub is bur oh, he's in Maybe. kind of a trouble, kind but of he trouble. has a shield, and now yeah, Slazog well is in trouble. Good Let's shield, good case. shield, oh nice oh, save maybe. here by Fabio, Anubarak, whoa, just such a good line shot here by him. 
And it uh, looks like he saved Starzerk there. Yeah. Really good shields and now they can uh, even defend the hard camp pretty easily because yeah. of the fountain. Being able uh, to heal up there pretty quickly. Yeah, good play, good play um, by Anub and also um, Kerrigan for getting away there. Uh, it looks like Falstad is uh, doing a good job trying to push the top lane a little bit further in. Uh, Montana always staying in top, so it's kind of like a mirror situation here between these two teams. We have uh, Uther in top and Uther in bottom, yeah. so um, kind of balance out. And now the tribute is spawning in top. Deadly Mouse is already in position. He's waiting in the brushes, and um, yeah, that's actually a good position this time for, around for Team Blue. Um, also, Tychus is getting into position, so um, it looks really um, yeah, it looks like a good setup for them. Yeah. If Mousebots is going uh, to contest this camp, it's gonna uh, th this tribute. I mean, sorry, um, it's gonna be a tough time. Yeah, I think they're not going to, going to go for it. Uh, might get a kill here on Vala. Nope, that's not gonna happen. Uh, a little bit too cautious. Ooh, nice grasp there, or a nice uh, jump in for, uh, for Kerrigan. But will they get some of these blue heroes on their way back? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, Anubarak getting getting stunned there, but like really good escape, yeah. Nice save, nice save. Uh, well done. Yeah, so 1-1 one, one as far as tributes go, and um, levels are also pretty balanced. So, so far, um, I think we have a pretty even match here. Yeah, it's just going um, to end on who's going to have uh, level 10 faster and is able to get a team fight in. Yeah, I think we do have the red team uh, going for a little bit of a faster uh, level 10, but the tribute is spawning in bot. Um, yeah, Rhaegar is kind of giving uh, giving the fist to Karayan here, and um, yeah, that actually gives him the vision here for the tribute. He sees, okay, Tassadar is already coming in, Tychus is coming in from the left, so let's see who gets this tribute. I think that's this is a little bit more vital than the last one, and um, yeah, it looks like Team Red is making a move, I getting a kill on Tychus. Oh, nope, not quite, he's getting away. Grasp not quite hitting there, and wow. Kerrigan do, going for the Maelstrom, really well done, getting Tychus, going for Arthurs, and there we have the heal by Rhaegar, um, and can yeah. he save himself though, it doesn't look like it, might get the kill, oh, wow. really well done, and Fabio, he was already so uh, so on low on hitch points, but uh, he made the right decision there to um, try to do the body block, exactly. and they will get the tribute, got three kills, so that was a really good team fight here for Team Mouse Sports. They could even think of uh, going for the golem right now, but I think they'll just uh, push bottom. Yeah, I think they kind of um, kind of uh, thought about it for a sec there, and um, yeah, it looks like Karayan is waiting in, in the brushes, so they will go for the golem. Yeah, and they won't have a too hard time, as it looks. Wow, but they were being really careful. Yeah. Not to get ganked right there. Well, I mean, they're, they're, uh, they have the advantage, so they don't want to lose that right now. And um, better play it safe than, uh, better safe than sorry, you know. Yeah. So, uh, pushing the bot lane, ooh, going a little bit deep here, I gotta say, but um, it's but 3 versus 3, and Tigers, ooh, Tigers going for the ultimate here. Tessa, um, that's getting that form, but nice body block by Fabio again, he's just so good at that. Yeah, and it's like a noob, this fat guy is really <laughs> being dominant on the battlefield. Yeah, really, really well played by him. He's just a solid, pl solid player. And um, yeah, the tribute is about to spawn. Looks like Team Red is in a good position. Let's see if Team Blue is gonna try to contest that. I mean, it's important. They need to get this tribute, or at least uh, stop them from getting it for for a little bit longer here. But um, yeah, just a solid position for Team Mouse Sports. Doesn't look like Team Blue can get in there. Oh, oh amazing like really stun by Montana. Did you yeah. see that? Honestly best stun so far. Yeah. Best stun so far and uh, looks like they turned this shit around. Oh, yep, maybe. getting the kill, getting the... Ooh. Oh, everybody's so low! Yep. And they even turned it around again. Wow, wow that that was pretty amazing, I gotta say. I mean, and losing two players early there. on there. But oh, um, yeah, they managed to do it. Fabio is just so incredibly low though. He got his, he's got to stay back. Uh, Kitty Kadash tries to uh, keep Whitefra on the move here. And we'll get the kill there as well. So we got the team kill, they got the tribute, and um, yeah, it's time to push now. It's definitely time to push. Let's see if they all push down the same lane. Yeah, it was, it was like a really good fight from Kida. He managed to, in the end, get Dimaga and uh, Rega. Really well done by him. And now they're gonna just take the golem and uh, continue pushing. Yeah, they're gonna go for the golem. Uh, Uber is. Well, he's not going to be able to contest that. Um, 
just the golem with a curse. Uh, it's it's way too strong. I, I mean, the cur uh, the golem is not gonna get there um, by the time the curse is still up, but. Nevertheless, it's just so strong, keeping them occupied in multiple lanes at once. Um, so let's see how the next team fight is gonna go. Um, looks like Team Blue tries to gather up on their own golem. Yeah. Uh, at least Happy Zerg is trying to kind but of. They pull will it definitely out. Le leave the fort, and that would lose it. Yep. Well, it looks like the middle fort is gonna fall. Deadly Mouse tries to contest it, but uh, not gonna work. Not five v one. Really well done. Losing the middle fort. So, 9 kills to uh, 2 kills and 2 forts down. Really a solid opener here for Team Mousebots. Oh, and good team fight coming in here for Mousebots. They'll yep. easily be able to get the golem. But they really, really clumped up. They gotta, they gotta watch out. Oh, for the Fabio Uta. getting stunned there. Uh, that's not good. Not a good position. Uh, but they can keep him out. They keep him out on the left side. Oh, we have the heroic again on Tychus and moving in again. Nice stun there by Karayan getting two players and Deadly Mouse being healed up. Really wow. well done. Uh, yeah. Let's see, can they get Uther oh. though? Yeah, Uther is uh, AI actually right now. Oh, he, he dropped out. He dropped out. Yeah. Well, good stun for AI then. <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, he pulled off a really good stun, nevertheless. Yeah. Um, Tychus was able to get out. I was kind of surprised by that, but nevertheless, a really good team fight again for Team Mouse Boards. Um, let's see if their Ufa can return. Um, that's one thing you don't want to see uh, to having the AI take over in one of those matches. Yeah. And there we go. Getting the hard camp in the middle lane as well. Um, will they go for the boss? Do you think they go might go for it? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, at least if they are, they have to be at least four people there to try to contest it. But I think they they are just better off creeping their own camp. Own yeah, camps. I think they just go for the camps. Uh, Tesla is gonna help out Kerrigan here, and Montana is back in the game, so we have a um, complete team comment. It's all good, and uh, yeah, looks like the hard camp is no no big enemy here for Team Mouse Sports. And Team Common is going for their own boss. Uh, let's see if this is gonna come back to bite them. Uh, it looks like oh, Team Common is making a move, and they might actually get them before the boss is down. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. Oh, this no. is gonna be so bad. Ufer is coming in. Try to get yeah, the but they will get the boss. Ooh, they nice. will get the boss. Though. But they are in a bad position. Maybe if Ufer gets bad. off a good stun, they can engage easily. Oh yeah. Was really nice turn around there, losing Montana and Tychus is gonna go down as well. Ooh no! Oh. So close, so close. Arthur's fault, oh. and now I think Tychus will fall as well. Ah, there's no safety for him. No safety, <laughs> never, nowhere. And the f uh, bot forward. I, th I think well. Whitebrush is the only one left alive here. Uh, he's trying to get away. Um, might actually get away um, in his wolf form. Felsit is on the hunt. Uh, he but, might um, even yeah. get the the tribute actually. <laughs> Just Whitebrush all by himself <laughs> getting the tribute. Uh, I doubt that's gonna happen. Well, they do have to deal with the boss, but um, Cookie is gonna, you know, he's gonna yeah. make that. With the easy camp, you can really easily defend the boss. Uh, even when Bloodlust the now. kill. Wow. Loop moving in as well, and will they get the kill on White Rock? Uh, got out of the wolf form for some reason. Uh, back again. Oh, right, trust the body block again. And oh, amazing, amazing! And yeah. again, going for that, and they wow. will get the kill in the end. Um, kind of dangerous now. I mean, the blue team is back, back on their feet. So that was kind of a dangerous move, but they made it happen. Yeah. Re really good individual skill here by Fabio, managing to get all of the, his abilities down correctly. Yeah, I gotta say, I mean, uh, he's a really solid player. Nice pickup by Team Mousebots. Um, just to give you some kind of background information, they had, um, yeah, they had a little bit of player problems, always uh, switching between players. Um, and I think this is now their their final player setup for the team. Um, but like they they switched people around the last yeah I think about the last month, month? or so yeah. so um, yeah this is the new team mouse bots and they're making a good initial um, yeah good initial move here yeah even being uh, like two levels ahead now and getting maybe the next tribute as well they might uh, I mean I think they should get in a better position just to try to defend it first. Yeah, they don't actually need it. They just uh, 
can focus on getting a good fight. Or yeah, I think they want to just let Tychus uh, run out of his heroic. Yeah. And then make a move. That would and be I think that's cool. actually a really good idea, and that's what they're going for. They're going for Tychus right away. Also, Arthas is being hit really hard. Well, oh, Starbuck really good is going really down, though. And looks like Karayan might fall as well. Yes, he will. Oh, but it's gonna be oh. an even kill. Yep, they will get Wagra again. And in the end, it all worked out. Um, who's hit which over? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see either. But uh, they just uh, exchanged uh, f five people for three. Pretty good uh, engage for them. And they're near to level 20. Uh, um, so talking about level 20, um, w where do you see Resurrection? Because um, we had the discussion um, on Reddit, the, I think, yesterday. And um, some people feel like Resurrection is too strong. It can be really strong, like on Arthur's or um, other tanks. Mm -hmm. It just saves you the game sometimes. Because um, if it's like uh, you trade... Three we uh, versus five, and there are only two people left, and they could push really good. Mm -hmm. And you have resurrection; you can um, defend all this. It can it can be really strong, especially um, in the very late game when uh, when the timers on the death is extremely long. Mm -hmm. I, I gotta say, I mean, um, they really gotta think about who they give these uh, this ability to, like uh, which characters get this ability. Because I feel like with the tanks, uh, it's it's almost too strong. Oh, and no contest on, on the tribute here. So two tributes for both teams. Next tribute is going to be a really important one. Yeah, the next tribute is going gonna, is gonna to make the call here. Um, looks like Whiterod is getting the easy camp here all by himself. And Team Blue making a move towards the middle of the map. Um, looks like Kupi and Fabio are waiting here. Um, they might actually go for the hard camp off Team Mouseport, but that would kind of be a ballsy move. Just waiting in the middle here in the brushes. Um, I don't know why or. <laughs> yeah, they they are looking for an ambush and oh, getting one that's now. That's a good position though. Um, really well done from the team mouse boss. An amazing stun again here by Karayan. Really well done. And can they get the kill? Ooh, wow. Looks like they will get the kill. Triple kill here almost. Wow, getting the entire team. That yeah, was just an amazing really move strong, here by yeah. Team Mouse Sports. Like and their do. positioning is just so strong. They are doing the exact right. I mean, uh, they they moved into the trap, well knowing okay they're in the brush. They kind of lured them out, and then they went for the uh, like went went for the surround, and it worked out so well. Now Varys is gonna fall here in the middle lane, and uh, looks like they might get the tribute, the last tribute, and that should be game here um, yeah. for uh, fourteen comet. Indeed. Yeah, going for the nexus right away. And they're really good still on school on 14 seconds here. First one is gonna be Tychus, but I don't think he's gonna make it. No. It was a really good call uh, by Mousepots to just go in and uh, kill the core. Yeah, well done. There's the GG. Well, we'll just assume they GG. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, amazing game. Uh, I was quite surprised to see like such excellence with a with a new team like them. I mean. Um, we haven't really seen them play, um, aside from the uh, Versafia tournament, I think. Yes. That was the last time we saw them. Um, that was a different lineup. They're new new and improved. They're back. And um, yeah, I'm eager to see more games. And that's why I think we're going to follow them now um, in the ESL Community Cup number three. Yeah. Um, with me is Ghoul. I'm G-Shock. And um, yeah, stay tuned. We'll be right back with the next